My name is Randy Pitchford and I'm the president of Gearbox Software. Halo, of course, is, is huge, right? It was the best-selling game on the Xbox and it's won more awards than I can count, so bringing it from the Xbox is really exciting. Yes, my name is Michel Bastier, I'm producer of Red Bungie Studios. We've been working really closely with the Gearbox folks, so both on the engineering and design sides. Uh, we've had great communications throughout the project and it's been going really, really well. I like playing the game uh, as, a, as a PC FPS gamer, which means I love my mouse and keyboard, I like high resolution graphics, and I like the, uh, the latest, the cutting edge of graphics, right? So I, I want to use my, my DirectX 9 video card, so with Halo we, we rewrote all of the pixel shaders in the game for DirectX 9, Pixel Shader 2.0, uh, and we also did a great job of supporting all the things that we're used to when we, when we play a PC game. And that's not just uh, custom interfaces and, and customizing your control scheme, but it's also about the way we like to play the game online. And uh, this was a huge job for us because it required rewriting the entire network engine. And uh, doing that, we wanted to take advantage of it. Uh, that means we, we added a lot of things to the, single, to the, to the multiplayer game. We added uh, new maps, new vehicles, new weapons, lots of stuff. And, uh, and it's all very exciting. Through Bungie.net and our community, we're really close to our fans. And the game being out for a couple of months, well, we start you know, hearing from them what they thought was working really well in the multiplayer game. Some of these things were showing up driving skills. I mean, I think it's a classic by now in Blood Gulch. You've got that, that nice pathway, but people are going to go right across. They're going to make their jumps, and they're going to show off that they can do that. Or uh, the whole sniping thing. The sniper gun works really well in Halo, so you want to be able to take guys out. But if you're the guy that's being sniped at, you want to have covers, you, know, you want to have boulders to move out of the way. So there's a couple of elements like that that we took, and the Gearbox guys did a great job at uh, um, making them more pre prevalent or accentuating them in the, uh, in the maps that they were designing for the PC version of the game. Well, yeah, when, when we play the single player game, uh, we have a lot of fun and, and there were some things in the single player game that we really wanted to take online. Uh, specifically, there's flying vehicles like the Banshee. Uh, we needed to have aircraft online. The Xbox didn't support the Banshee uh, in the multiplayer game, so we had to do some work to, to bring it across and make it networkable. And uh, it's, it's really turned out great. It's fun to have that. There's the turret guns, those are the fixed position guns, um, which it's kind of a paper, paper, rock, scissors effect, right? The, the, the turret is great at taking out the Banshee. Uh, the Banshee is great at taking out the, uh, the Rocket Warthog or the regular Warthog. Uh, the, the Rocket Warthog has a hard time taking out the Banshee because it's, it's a rocket launcher. It fires slowly and it, the rockets take time to get there. But the Rocket Launcher Warthog is great for the, the tank, the Covenant tank. And you can use all these things uh, against each other to have great, great combined arms battles in multiplayer. We have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, well, we've created six new maps, and it's really fun because they, uh, they leverage some of the environments in the single player game. So we've got this new one called Dead Island. It's really, really cool. Uh, it's, it's great for banshees. You can fly around from one base to the other. It's open, it's wide open, it allows you to uh, use the new fuel rod gun, which has a really long range. So that's working out really well. Then there's Timberland, which is my personal favorite uh, big forest setting. And that, that one's, to me, it's all about showing up driving skills because it's got these big hills, but you also have the most optimal pad, I would say. But if you go out of this pad, you're gonna get your overshield, you're gonna get a good weapon, so you're kind of uh, invited to get out of it. But it's really looking from, from up on, on one of the bases, you can see all the action happening, and then pick up your sniper rifle, try to take guys out. Yeah, well, the Xbox game featured uh, some ability to manipulate some of the game modes, uh, and that, like changing the number of frags needed to win a game and that kind of stuff. And, and we just expanded on that a lot, and, and we, uh, we made it really accessible. So it's really easy to create a new game type, name it, and, and modify the way the game is played. So, uh, and, and I can do, do all kinds of crazy stuff with that. So let's say I like a game like Counter-Strike, for example, and I can set it so that uh, I only have one life per round, and I could set up different uh, capabilities per side so that one team might have the Covenant tank and the other team might have the, the rocket launcher Warthog, which is a new vehicle, a new variant on the Warthog that we added for, for Halo PC. And I get kind of a, a, a I can get kind of a, a capability of playing around with the balance between between team sides. There's also the game modes themselves, which create the objectives for the multiplayer game: uh, race, King of the Hill, capture the flag. Uh, Slayer, which is like deathmatch, um, and I can choose these game modes and manipulate options to basically, it's almost like creating a mini mod, uh, if you will, but you can do it in menus, so you don't need to know anything about mod making or, or programming to do this stuff. 
Well, Halo PC should be coming soon, and um, I think end of summer. We haven't picked a specific release date for that, but really looking forward to it for a few reasons. One, I've been playing with the guys at Gearbox a lot, and they're great guys and a lot of fun to play with, but I can't wait till the game's released so I can play with our, our customers on the internet. I need some new people to beat up on. And the other thing we're excited about is I think uh, end users are going to be able to do some cool stuff uh, with it. Now, I mentioned some simple you know, manipulation in menus, but we're going to go a lot further with that, with mod support. Um, right, right off the bat, we're going to teach people, give people tools, and, and help them make multiplayer maps, and uh, also manipulate deeper game functions. Um, and you can do that in a nice little package, so I give you my map, and in that map it's got all the stuff it needs to, to modify the game. Uh, when, that, when that goes well, we'll talk about some other things we can do to increase uh, modification capabilities within Halo, but we're really excited about that too.